people on the ground did what they did in the moment. But let's be clear, when Richard Nixon heard what had happened, he had one question. And he said, was this a black business? And when he heard, which of course it was a multiracial business, right? There was a lot of men in the yard, but what he wanted to know is that would make it okay, right? Because if it was a black business and all those men had been shot dead and tortured, then that would have made it okay. And after Attica, because of all that kind of resistance, what happens? Well, politicians pass the Prison Litigation Reform Act to make it impossible, almost impossible, for prisoners to ever sue for what was happening to them behind bars. So what's at stake? I mean, everyone was real clear what was at stake. The people on high were real clear what was at stake. And Attica was that line in the sand in a lot of ways, right? Because the men inside were mobilized. And, and to shut it down, I mean, Rockefeller knew what it meant to shut it down. Nixon knew what it meant to shut it down. But the problem is you can't shut down human beings. You can't shut down what they thought they could shut down. And that's why we're, you know, that's why this conversation is still alive and we're still here, but make no mistake about it. They tried to shut it down. And, and just one other thing I want to say about that, which is, you know, this is not the first time that this was, that prisons were the policy response to black claims on freedom. Right after the civil war, you have 4 million newly freed people who wanted jobs, equality, housing, respect, dignity, humanity. And the response across the US South was to change the laws, to make things illegal that had not been illegal before, to make things that were illegal more illegal. And you look at a state like Georgia after the Civil War, the prisons are 100% white. And within 20 years, the prisons are 100% black. And that's not because white folks stop committing crimes and black folks lose their minds. It is because of a policy choice. And by doing that, by criminalizing people, people lose sympathy for those people. You can put those people to work for free. You can do whatever the hell you want to people once you've decided that they're a criminal. And so this is not the first time we've done this, and it's not the first time that incarceration has been the response to the black freedom struggle. And if we remember that, then we're real clear on what was going on at Attica.